the movie Kashmir Files is again in news. And this time it's not just the movie that is in spotlight. A friendly nation of India, Israel is also caught in a row because of the unwarranted comments made by one of its filmmakers about the movie and then being criticized by Israel's envoy to India. The top level response from Israel came after Nadav Lepid, the jury head of IFI 2022 called director Vivek Agnihotri's movie a vulgar film and said he was shocked to see the film in the competition section in a film festival. The Israeli ambassador reprimanded him by saying that the events shown in the Kashmir files are an open wound in India because many of the involved are still around and still paying a price. He also went on to say that the filmmaker has abused the Indian hospitality. But why is an event that has a sordid and gory past in India has an Israeli ambassador taking stand for India? The answer clearly and undoubtedly lies in the history. Israel's history is very complex and in fact gut-wrenching. The entire world knows about the treatment meted out to the Jews during the time of Second World War and this is no exaggeration. Nobody can ever possibly deny that Holocaust happened. Nobody can deny that there were concentration camps whose only aim was to decimate the entire Jewish population. Nobody can say that Auschwitz or the Hau or Riga did not exist. Nobody can dispute the fact that more than 5 million men, women and children died in the German concentration camps between 1933 and 1945. By the end of the Second World War, the Jewish population had reduced by one third before the war started and before the Nazis tried to exterminate them. These are hard facts and these are the facts that lie behind the history of Israel. The geopolitics of Israel is fraught with security, diplomatic and moral dilemmas. In fact, much of the Israeli history has been written with guns. The phrase, power flows from the barrel of the gun perhaps holds true for no other countries as much as it does for Israel. And the country knew it right from the beginning. Despite all the hardships, the Jewish community prepared itself for independence openly and in secrecy. On May 14, 1948, the day the last British forces left Israel, it declared itself independent and the blood has been flowing in the country ever since. It is the only Jewish country on this planet and it is surrounded by Arabs who have deep-seated disdain towards Israeli due to their history. Till date, the Arab states have jointly waged four full-scale wars against Israel and they have lost all four of those. In 1967, Israel fought a war that came to be known as the Six-Day War. In those six days, Israel defeated Arab armies of three powerful nations in the Middle East, Syria, Egypt and Jordan. It gained territory four times to its original size and became the preeminent military power in the region. The war transformed Israel from a nation that perceived itself as fighting for survival into a regional powerhouse. And since then, Israel knew that in order to ward off any attack on it, the country had to be powerful. So it invested in weapons, in R&D, in innovations and in making itself more powerful. It created Mossad, one of the most fearsome intelligence services in the world. It created Iron Dome, one of the most sophisticated low-range air defense attack systems to thwart Palestinian rockets. It developed AWOCS, Airborne Warning and Control System, which is in much demand in the entire world. So, when an Israeli filmmaker says that Kashmir Files is a propaganda or an exaggerated myth, Israel is shocked. The statement made by the filmmaker perhaps make light of what unfolded in Kashmir and Israel perhaps sees a resemblance with itself in what happened in Kashmir. We hope you would like this new video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to One India. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.